What's happening, man? Man, I tell you what. When Adrian calls, I come a running. Shoot. We we are uh, we're hemi hunting. Hemi hunting. We're hemi hunting. We're hemi hunting, and we're also LS hunting because I tell you what, I have spent the last three days looking for LS motors from my little brother Scout, and I ain't found Jack. That, that baby's been crushed. It's probably got what we need underneath. I believe it does. According to that Earl filter, is a five seven hemi. I don't believe it's ever had an oil change done. It's amazing. Pretty wild. Tonight, I, I didn't even think about this, but I'm sure it does turn off if it goes over. I, that's and a, he, that was he my said word. that they had spun it over and it ran. Well, you get Woo. something. I would not have wanted to take that ride, y'all. Holy moly. Might be able to hook a booster pack up to it, take a look at the cluster. I don't know if we can get in there or not. What do you think, Timmy? It runs. It does? Runs good. Runs good. I got like 5,000 miles on it. Is that 5, it? 5,000. Wow. We started up when it first came in. Oh, did you? Grand Mission <clears throat> leak. That was Grand Mission cooler and something above the Sure, sure. I've daydreamed about it ever since we got it. Have you? <laughs> yeah. Well, we're about yeah. to make your dreams become a reality, oh, I believe. I wanna, uh, what was you going to put it in? A pickup truck. What kind? A little, I don't know. Yeah, like a, like a, a maybe? Yeah, that's what I would that's what we do. I, that's where we're headed. You good? Yeah. Guys, I think this is a sign from the burnout gods. <laughs> I'm on a clean little V6 that was blowed up in it. But you think he's only got like 5,000 on it? I know it? it for sure. No kidding. Well, you may bring a booster over here. Oh, no. If you tell me it's 5,000, I believe. That's what it is. Maybe five, seven hundred, something like that. Five thousand seven hundred. That is low mileage as they get, ain't it? Man. I think this might be just what you're looking for. I think it is. Well, have you thought any more about the transmission? Talked to Mr. Mike Copeland, Arrington right. Performance, uh -huh. and he said he can make it work, but there's nothing simple out there, and he right. is the Hemi guy. Yes. Everything that I read on these 8 HP 70 transmissions is that they are fully controlled by the CAN bus, which yeah. means they have a power wire, a ground wire, and then the other two wires are just for data transmission. That means you gotta have a really smart computer in order to be able to control these things. So far, we haven't found a solution. I don't know exactly what we're gonna do as far as transmission goes on it. Glad you're talking to the right people. Yes. That always helps. We, we know the right guy. Uh, yeah, Mike Copeland is uh, the Hemi guy. Go all, all the way back. Careful now, don't don't break the windshield. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is that gonna stay? Yeah. Wiggle that hot. You got it? Yeah. I believe that's on there. I hear it clicking. I hear some relays. That's a good sign. There we go. Timmy to save the day. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Oh. There it is. Whoop. Got her? No. I seen it spark for yeah. just a second. What the heck? This thing kicking off. Hey, one of these people may have stole all the relays out of there, too. Moment the truth? Huh. What the heck? It's, it's making yeah, sparks. It's, it's making sparks for sure. Man, I hate to even say this, but uh, the seats in there look mighty nice. Do too. they? That right there. Man, we've got multiple <laughs> battery packs hooked up here. Is this a Tesla? Still nothing. <laughs> we just stole something off of it. We had to. <laughs> we stole something off of it. There's no doubt. Oh, here we go. <laughs> look at there, look at there. She ain't got no hair ah, or a battery. Being so full of water, <laughs> I'm not real sure what's going on here. Okay, now look at there. Uh huh. <laughs> Quality. <laughs> Was that a brim? That was a bluegill. I got a feeling we probably want to know what the, the VIN number. number is. Yes, sir. We might yes, need sir. that as we're hunting you will. you will. I was looking at the fast EFI for this thing. They've got the 2.0, and I believe it's the 13 and up that we'll need to make this work. Right. You might want to try the inside of the door. Might be a little better bet. Now look, here it is. If this was your car, let us know what in the heck happened. Yeah. That'd be real interesting to find out. Man, 
That bad boy took a lick. Yes, it did. Ooh. Nothing in comparison to what little D's going. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna see during his lifetime. I got reason to believe that poor little truck's got a hard life ahead of it. I, I think it may have some evil stuff done to it at some point coming in the future. Oh well. Nothing, huh? We got lights on back here. That's a good sign, ain't it? I bet you. Sucker's corroded pretty good. Right there. That right there got a fair share of corrosion. It's a good thing we're not going to be using any of these factory electronics because he's my next door neighbor. He got me neighbors. Really? Yeah. You're from Drummond? <laughs> no, I'm sure I didn't know it. That's right. But you live in 38127. What's happening, brother? Call me. Long, good. long time no see. I wish they'd start doing the HRA back in today. Yeah, me too. Me too. I hey, it. we're we're kicking, man. We're, oh, we're week, kicking and screaming. Yep, in Atlanta. Heck yeah. And that was the Atlanta. last one for Atlanta, wasn't it? That was. And that's sad. That place was packed. I bet. Packed. Now they got streetcar takeover out there this weekend. In was, Atlanta? Yeah. Do they? Yep. I was trying to make it out, and it just it ain't gonna happen. Dang. Motor forces need gone. Build everything back up with a good dirt track and everything. Yeah. Uh, well, you know they have plans for it. Uh, yeah, and then they quit on it. Yeah, did. They it well, like I said, I'm, I'm kicking and screaming. I, I got... He got that. Whew, I'll tell you one thing. Underneath of this sucker is a whole lot cleaner than old possum. Good night. Yes, sir. It is clean. Ooh, look at that electronic steering rack. Yeah. Man, I like electric steering. It looks scary to me. <laughs> yeah. Give me something yeah. that's connected mechanically. I'll yes, sir. Uh, golly, what a transmission. Yeah. 8 HP, that's a German transmission. Transmission might be a little smarter than we are, so yeah. that, that one might get skipped out on. This is a learning experience for me. I ain't never really messed around with any any Mopars. Man, would you look at this little tiny, little tiny drive shaft? A little shaft. Wheel. Yeah. I mean, that's like a yeah, like a front wheel drive tiny. axle. Sure is, ain't it? Huh. See the control arm was broke. Man, this yeah, I did. Sway bar. Yeah, be. I wish the uh, I wish we could get the computer fire up. See how fast he was going when he crashed. <laughs> yeah. All that's in there. Everything looks good. Dude, I say we we pull the trigger on this deal. Let's do it. What I'm gonna do right quick, I'm gonna call okay. Mike yeah. Yeah. and ask about this transmission. Now that I know we're right. gonna do something, I'm gonna call Mike right quick. Alright. Me and Adrian, we we're still under this thing, dissecting. What do you think? Pull the trigger? Let it rip? I think it's it's too good of a deal to pass up, man. I really do. This I think thing this one is, dropped in your lap. I think so. I think you made it drop in my well, lap. Well, we got uh, a, basically a brand new motor here. The thing's got a little over 5,000 miles on it. Hadn't even made it to its first oil change. Yep. Still got uh, the factory installed yeah. oil filter. So. But I will tell you this. This thing took a crash. Oh, I'm not going to lie to you. I've bought much worse hit than this. I don't feel bad about this at all. No, I mean the crank definitely got, didn't get touched, so that's that's really important on these things. In fact, my Tahoe that I bought wrecked was hit so hard in the middle. The harmonic balancer, when we went up to look at it, Pop and I, the harmonic balancer fell off in our hands, and he was he was losing his mind. Like, man, this thing's gonna have a junk motor in it. <laughs> Y'all wrecked cars are nothing oh. to them. Well, I think we uh, we got to go do a little wheeling uh, and dealing. Wheeling and dealing, and uh, I think we may have found a motor for uh, Baby D. I believe so. <laughs> Get a hard life ahead of you, son. Yeah, 2018 five seven. Would love to do the eight speed, but I did just talk to Mr. Mike Copeland, Arrington Performance. He's the pro on this thing, and he's like. They're good transmissions, but you're going to have to have every control out of the car to make it work. He said nobody's really, 
what'd you call it? Crack the code. Yeah. Crack the code. They're too smart. Yeah. They're just so, too dang smart. Don't know what we'll do for a transmission yet, but uh, big chunk is that 5.7 right there. See it? Bam! Like a big old piece of the puzzle. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely thinking that uh, they're some pretty nice seats. They really are. Man, look at that bolster on there. Yeah. May not ever be able to make all the electronics work, but you know that's to. that's something I was thinking about. With enough uh, <laughs> enough test lights and and test probes, well, you know, we might be able to make it work. I mean, at pretty, least oh they, shoot, they can go forward and backwards. Oh, Air yeah, bag. we're out. Airbags, we're out. That's Never it. That. <sighs> Me too. You know what? That is the one thing when we're rebuilding these things, when we're rebuilding these wreck cars. Yep. The seat airbags is always the biggest pain in the butt because you have to completely take the cover off, get the airbag installed, and then get the cover back on it looking right. And it's a pain. Oh, it really can't. If you're not an upholsterer, I am not. <laughs> it can it can be kind of a pain. Ah, man, it was a good idea though. It was. <laughs> it was a really good idea. All right. it, it might need some Sparkos, or maybe some Kirkies. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I think, you know, I think this truck in my head <laughs> maybe is a little further along <laughs> than it is in yours. <laughs> I can't help but dream wild. It's just, yeah. it's just initially I'm thinking that we're going to make this thing run. We're going, I think that's a solid we're going to go to the drag strip. We're going to do some burnouts. You know, make it something that you guys could build. Yeah, exactly something attainable where we don't have you know 800 horsepower off the bat yeah that'll be fun to watch it grow yeah. i'm excited about it i mean i, I bet this thing's probably it's got to make three or four hundred probably stock i don't they're, know they're right at 400 yeah. i think it's 370 i think is what they're rated it's at a good start it's a really a, good start little... yes sir that and put one of them big old camshafts in oh, it oh we're doing that before it goes in oh yeah we're doing that before it, it ain't goes get, in. it ain't getting no mds <laughs> For those of y'all that like me who are Mopar illiterate, MDS is their multi-displacement something. System, I think. System. Yeah. Like the GM's AFM, yeah. which is active fuel management. Basically yeah. shuts off four cylinders. Yeah. So yeah. that'll be gone. That will be gone. Thank goodness. Immediately. We will uh, we'll put us old comp cam in there. We'll do away we'll, with that system. Well three-quarter race cam. Yes, three-quarter race cam. That's it. That's it. <laughs> We're gonna go talk to the money man, see if Mr. Clay can't get his motor pulled out of this thing, and we'll see you soon. All right, dude. Well, I'm glad that we were able to find you a 5.7 Hemi for Little D, and I'm man, I'm just as excited as can be to see that thing stuck in there. Mike told us it'd be what a couple few days before we yep. get pulled out. Yeah, I'm excited to see what happens. Well, man, me too. I mean, this is gonna be fun because it is. Well, I'm a, I keep saying I'm a Hemi guy. Yeah. I'm a Nitro Hemi guy. This is this is a new deal for me. Yeah. Now, a lot of you folks watching don't know anything about it, and we've kept it hidden. There is a late model Hemi project going on at Lunch Race Cars that you're still not going to find out about just yet. But it'll be a while. It'll be a little while. But me and Adrian and all of our buddies around here, we're going to learn about this 5.7. We're going to. Uh, We'll have fun with this it is man you know it's funny i just did really my first ls you know i've been i've always had ls powered vehicles but i hadn't done a whole lot of the work myself mechanically and so possum was really my first jump in to right. doing an ls and like is now i just finished the ls and now we're getting into the hemi it's like my brain is back to that obsessive state of trying to learn about these things and wanting to know every little sensor and and what makes them tick and what so makes them I'm work gonna, i'm gonna interrupt you for a moment Do because it. yesterday you said hey i might have found us a hemi yeah and i can tell the way your brain works because you were sending me link after link <laughs> yeah. about the, the yeah. eight, eight speed yeah. transmission you know and you and you found out but way before i even thought about it that this thing's going to be difficult yeah and as it turns out, we're not going to do it. Right. But I can tell you you dove in. You were sending me links and pictures and stuff. And my brain, once it gets going, when I start getting obsessed, it's hard to make it stop. So I'm, I'm the same way. I yeah. was driving down the road, and I'm like, Adrian, I almost just texted you. Like, I can't look at this. I'm driving down the road. You know. <laughs> yeah, you you got to watch me because I'll get out of control real quick. Like I said, I in my head, this truck is like got a big old blower sticking out the hood zoomy shooting flames it's like 
Kind of get tamed down a little bit. We got stage one. Stage one. So, stage one. Yes, sir. Well, I will make another video when this thing is pulled out, and we'll come back down here and snatch it, and uh, hopefully get it out to Drummond's. Yeah, absolutely. Come up there and check out Little D, so yep. you guys can see it, or maybe not. Well, I don't know. We're going. We're going. This is going to be for the fans all the way through. Our other project is a very personal project that we're going to do a huge reveal when Jeff Lux and Jeffrey finish that thing. We're doing this all the way through for all you folks watching Adrian's channel, my channel, and who knows all we're going to get involved in this thing. It's going to be so much fun. I'm so excited. And, and what you don't know is uh, you may be down here picking this thing up because I, I might be going to Charlotte. Well, I know. It, it, you know what? It may have to go spend a day or two at B&B Customs. <laughs> It might have a blower on it when you come back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, that'll work. We'll do that. I'm looking forward to Storage it. Storage fees are cheap out there at B&B. <laughs> That's up North, Har North Harbor Town. North Harbor Town. Yes, I like that. Okay. All right, man. Well, enjoy your drive back to Drummond's. Absolutely. And uh, I'm glad we could make this work. Me too. Thanks for the help, buddy. We'll see y'all soon. Peace.